We're talking about when traders can't get out of their own way with Dr. Brett Steenbarger. Hello, Brett. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Uh, Brett, you're a clinical psychologist and author of The Daily Trading Coach. You work with a lot of traders. What kinds of self-destructive behavior do you see that maybe gets in their way of becoming really good traders? I would say two self-destructive behaviors come to mind immediately. The first I would call trading addiction. People can be addicted to trading just like they can be addicted to gambling and for much of the same reason. Not everyone trades to make money. Some people are trading for thrills and excitement, and those people do get in their own way. So trading is really a business. People need to think about it as a business. It's not like going to Vegas and sort of, you know, betting the moon on, on, on the, the craps table. That's a very good point. And much of the money that's made in trading is by being patient and waiting for your edge, waiting for your opportunity. If you have the need for thrills, you won't have that patience. You won't wait for your opportunity and you get in your own way. So what other kinds of self-destructive behavior do you see? The other self-destructive behavior I would call impulsivity. Hmm. When people make impulsive decisions because of frustration, they lose some money, the market's not moving very much, they become frustrated, and out of that frustration, they feel a need to trade. Mm -hmm. In fact, traders call it over-trading. Mm -hmm. They make those impulsive decisions where they don't really have an edge in the trade, and they end up losing money as a result. How does that compare with gut instinct? Isn't that related? I mean, apparently, you know, great traders, George Soros with the British Pound, the classic example back in the, in the 90s, I mean, he had a gut instinct that the pound was going to head way down. And he acted on that and made a fortune. And there are a lot of examples of that. How does impulsiveness differ from gut instinct? That's a really good question. And you're absolutely right. Particularly uh, shorter term traders very much rely on those gut instincts. But if you don't have a relatively quiet mind, you can't access those intuitions. When traders are frustrated, they're thinking about their profit and loss statement. They're not really focused on markets. And as a result, their impulsive decisions aren't based on instinct. They're based on emotions. So basically people have to really sort of take a deep breath, step back and think, focus on the trade itself and on, and on why they're in it rather than sort of acting emotionally. My rule of thumb is if you're thinking about yourself or you're thinking about your profit and loss, you're in the wrong place. You should be market focused, not self focused. Thank you very much. Thank you. We've been speaking with Dr. Brett Steenbarger on the moneyshow.com video network.